Hey there. Uh, my name is uh, Q, and Crashbird and I uh, are the ones who probably discovered this bug, but honestly, it's probably existed for much longer than us. But Crashbird has basically shown me uh, a way that I think is the best way to change it so that instead of having typical T's in your regular order, red, white, blue, gold, and having it so that no matter where you move the T's, no matter what, gold is longer than black, right? Like that's annoying, right? If you wanted to set up for a PGA Tour setup, you would definitely want some days where the some T's are longer than others. So for instance, you'd maybe want the par four, a par four to be drivable on one day and then another par four drivable on another day, but not both of them drivable on the same day, which currently what these T's kind of force you to do, right? So the easiest way to change this, and uh, basically the easiest way, uh, the first method, which is the one I was using for a while, uh, involves manipulating this back T box rate waypoint, and then the one crash bird discovered involves using manipulating this waypoint because if you uh, change the waypoint and then add the T boxes uh, the T boxes will be generated to where you put the new waypoint uh, and then moving the waypoint back uh, does not affect the T boxes however if you were to move the T boxes again they would reset so the easiest way to do this is let's say you want the shortest tees to be the longest tees on this hole, right? This is the fastest method. You don't want anything else to change. All you need to do is hit the move waypoint button right here and place it behind the back tees. This automatically moves your normally most forward tees where this tee box waypoint is forcing it to be behind the gold tees. So now you have the red tees, and uh, just for posterity, I did red, white, blue, and gold, the kind of like mimic real life, are now the longest tees on this hole. So that's the super easy, straightforward way to do this. All right, now for the harder way to do this, uh, the one that Crashbird discovered, it uses a lot more nuance, and it involves using this waypoint instead on this really horrible par four I made in five seconds as an example. All right, so to do this, all right, first I can just show you what happens if I were to now move these, uh, move these uh, red tees, right? Oh, look, they're gold again. Yep, see, it's ruined. So you cannot move these tees again afterwards it's it's just their permanent one where they stand so just realize that but you can always redo it so the way i like to do this is i like to delete uh the two middle t positions right leaving only the the closest and the longest the the most forward and most back t's right which makes it auto to white. But think of this as where the golds normally be and where the reds would normally be. So if I were to move this waypoint directly behind this, now you can see that nothing has changed quite yet. The whites are still behind the reds, even though if you look at the exact numbers, it would show the reds, well, the reds are still generating as if they're going towards the T, right? But here's the weird thing. When you add back one of these T's, right? So let's go to six T's, hit the add T position. Wow, suddenly the T's are being generated to where this waypoint is. So now you can add these T boxes back in. So now I'll add here and let me add again. And look at that. Now the gold tees are most forward, followed by the blues, then the whites, then the reds. So I've reversed it effectively. What? Well, now you might be asking what happens when I turn the waypoint back so my character doesn't stupidly aim opposite. 
Well, moving the waypoint back doesn't affect the T's at all. They stay in this order, right? But let's say uh, you want a little bit more nuance. And once again, let me just show you what happens when I move these T's. It resets. So just realize that. So let's say I want a, a very specific order of T's on this hole. Now this is where this gets tricky because uh, a lot of the times there's some uh, blocks to this, right? So you have to think about it as where you move this waypoint to changes how far away the T's are relative, right? So when I move this waypoint here, no matter what, and you can kind of see the yards of the T in the top will affect how far away the game perceives each of these T's to be. So if I move it back here, which did the swap, you can see that the gold T's suddenly become the shortest T on the course because I'm effectively adding yardage, right, to swap them. Well, if I want a weird middle, one, middle ground one where the short T's are in the middle, I can put it right in the middle here and simply moving any of these T's now changes the order, right? Because now you can see, because these two are the closest to the waypoint, you have red and white in the middle, and then you have blue is the shortest, and you have gold is the longest. So, that way you can change the order pretty much any way you want. And then once again, if I move this waypoint back, the T's remain in their weird order. So this is just kind of a hint of how you can use this. Uh, it becomes really hard to do it super precisely, but you can get the hang of it by just doing it a lot. But yeah. Uh, that's basically it. Uh, it's a really cool feature. It allows for a lot of unique ideas and planning. So it's great for doing a tour setup. Uh, you can still do a normal course, of course, and then submit the tour setup, quote unquote, to TGC. Uh, that's how I'd recommend it. But uh, yeah, I hope to see more courses like this because then we'll have four unique and interesting tees to use on any given day. And they won't just be shorter than one another because you can do this per hole. So every hole you can change the waypoint order and have these unique things. And if you look on the menu and look on the scorecard, it still orders it from shortest to longest in terms of what you've set as the closest to the hole and longest. But that doesn't change the fact that they're not actually that way. So just realize that the reds will always be on the top here if you, short, uh, if you, if you put them as the forward tees. So it's like, it just shows you that it actually can be done this way too and it doesn't like mess up the scorecard. And just to double check, uh, this pretty much works uh, pu after publishing when play testing. Like if I play the hole from, uh, let's say the whites, I'm actually playing from the whites location. The blue is still in front of us. That just gives you an idea. Yeah. About it. Alright, thanks for uh, watching the video, I guess. Alright, bye.